Hello everyone! Let's discover in this tutorial how to install and set up real wood textures. From your Blender Market account, download the zip file. Real wood textures is not an add-on, it is a library for the asset browser of Blender. You have to unzip the zip files. To do this, I use WinRAR. It's free. Make a right click on the zip file 2K, select WinRAR, then extract here. Repeat the operation with the 4K version. For the 8K version, you must unzip the two volumes in the same folder. To do this, select the two files and extract here. A message will ask you if you want to replace the files. Click on Yes for All. You can now delete the zip files if you wish. Let's go into Blender and install the textures pack. Go to Edit, Preferences, and in File Paths, click on the little cross to add a library. Select the 2K version and take care to choose the location where the four folders of the tree species are located. Repeat the operation with the 4K version. Then, if you can, add the 8K version. Don't forget to save your preferences. Close the window and go to a new panel. To open a panel, put the mouse cursor in a corner and click and drag to create a new window. Click on the menu and select Asset Browser. From the drop-down menu, select the package you want. Choose a category, then drag and drop on a 3D object to add the material. Now let's see how the real wood textures shader works. Select your object and in the shader editor panel we can see the shader. He is 100% customizable. The ambient occlusion mix, the specular value to adjust the power of the specular. The same thing for the roughness. The saturation of the image, the bump to see the small details in relief, the normal map. The luminosity of the texture, the contrast, the anisotropic if needed. A lager slider to tint the wood. Customize the color underneath. A paint slider to simulate a paint job. Add bump for the rendering of a painted wood. The color is customizable. A varnish slider allows you to add varnish to the wood to make it shiny. The varnish roughness will adjust if the shine is clear or blurred. The last five sliders are presets. Satin to obtain a satin wood. Glossy soft for a glossy wood, but not too much with blurred reflections. Glossy High for a very shiny wood with sharp reflections. Oiled to simulate the effect of oil. Waxed gives yet another effect. Some materials, often in the burl category, have an anisotropic texture. This allows you to simulate different reflections in the wood. Like this example. You can adjust the factor easily with the anisotropic slider. Now you know everything about real wood textures. Enjoy!